Well, if I was junior, we'd have four or five wine brawls. Seriously. Can you talk about the three power play goals for uh, you guys tonight? And, you know, kind of that. Just a different yeah, I'm getting it first. Um, yeah, I mean, I think our power play really stepped up tonight. We got we did a better job of, uh, well, after the first period, we did a better job of achieving puck down low and getting it low to high. So um, that, was a, that was one adjustment we made, and it worked out well. Um, and the guys also did a great job getting the traffic in front of the net, which allowed those point shots to go in. How important was it to finish strong in the third period after faltering a bit last night? Oh, uh, that was huge. I mean, um, that was our focus going in the third period, growing from last night. And I think the guys, as a whole, did a great job. So come straight from coaching staff all the way down. Does it feel to have beaten these guys so many times in a row now? How do you think it feels? Ten. I mean, uh, it doesn't get old. No, does it? it doesn't get old. I mean, obviously this rivalry is huge, and I think um, um, it's one of those things that's the reason you come play college hockey. And a lot of rivalries like these, and um, obviously it's a great feeling, but we have to move on and focus on Penn State too. Much Dan, I think that's the first time I've ever seen this rivalry in maybe ten years get like that. Do you feel like this brings us to even another level for your next meeting? Oh yeah, I think that's going to be fun. Um, <laughs> I think uh, um, obviously they got a good team here, and I think just this weekend we, we knew what we had to do and we uh, went out and executed. I think so going forward, heading into the, the Times Union Center there, we just um, we got to focus on doing the same things as playing union hockey, and hopefully it works out. Can you talk about maybe one thing that you guys you know, go into the games against RPI trying to do that has made you so successful? Um, I don't think it's any one thing. I think, um, especially this year, you've seen it with our team. Um, kind of the days we decide to play union hockey, uh, we're great. That's kind of the day, those days when we have 20 guys show up playing, 20 guys competing, getting pucks deep, going to work, blocking shots, hard to play against our own end. That we got a great team over here. But then there's other days where guys, we almost take the night off as a whole. And you know, we're not so good. <laughs> so I think um, going forward, we just have to learn we got to be consistent and show up playing hockey every night. And there's kind of the sky's the limit. Do you feel like you've gotten better since the uh, season began as a team? Yeah, yeah. I think um, especially, especially defensively. I think we're giving up a lot less as a whole, and I think we got to continue doing that. Um, I think we know there's we know there's going to be a learning curve heading into this year, and I think the guys have done a great job. From the coaching staff to Matt Bodey to Cole Ipla to Shane Goss, very lean the guys, and then all the way down to the back to Paul Stevens through all the freshmen. I think um, they've done, a, especially the freshmen, have done a great job of being open to criticism, being open to learn. That's what's really that's really helped our team and help us go forward. Thanks, Daniel.